from music, street art, and alleyways to the food and so much more. These are just a few reasons why you're going to want to make Detroit your next destination. Detroit is a city that wears its heart on its sleeve. You feel it the minute you arrive. It's a place that doesn't shy away from its past. Instead, it embraces its industrial roots, every crack, and every major achievement. It's a spot where you can dine and sip on any kind of food imaginable, get lost in its immersive art scene, support close-knit communities, and you can leave feeling just as cool as Detroit is itself. One thing is for sure, Detroit is a city that won't stop. Let's kick off Detroit by exploring that art scene. First up, Rebel Nell. It was founded by Amy Peterson in 2013. The mission came first, a way to help women in the city shelter system. And then came the actual product, jewelry made from falling graffiti art, all handcrafted by local women looking for a new start on life. So I'm Amy Peterson. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Rebel Nell, which is based here in Detroit, Michigan. We're a social enterprise that provides employment for women who are transitioning out of shelter living, and we make unique, one-of-a-kind jewelry out of repurposed material, like falling graffiti. Shinola's flagship store is built in an old General Motors building. The concrete floor and beams are original, showing the city's past and present with Shinola's current Made in Detroit collection. The Detroit Institute of Art, or DIA, holds some of the country's most significant pieces of art. From Andy Warhol to the country's very first Van Gogh to a Detroit-themed mural painted by famed Mexican artist Diego Rivera. Rivera's wife, Frida Kahlo, was present for the painting, and it's also where she first started to work on her own pieces. Here I am trying to pose just like Frida in the exact spot where she was overlooking the mural. Something tells me I should probably not quit my day job and that I'm not quite as talented as Frida Kahlo. Public art is a way Detroit has shown its struggles and achievements, and it can be spotted pretty much all over the city. Claude Molinari, President and CEO of Visit Detroit and the Detroit Sports Commission, and we're in the belt which is an alley that's been completely transformed into like a nightclub slash restaurant slash speakeasy slash art museum. I mean, it's, it's all kinds of stuff and this is a great place to hang out. And, and again, tonight this, this, uh, this alleyway will be jumping with people from all over, the, all over Southeast Michigan. There's a feeling about this place. It's got a, a certain, like you said, vibe. There's just a feeling like when you're in Detroit, you're feeling something. It's the music, it's the culture, it's the spirit of the people. And it's like a, like a we've been knocked down, but we can't be stopped. And there's, a, there's a, you know, one of those nothing can stop Detroit type of feelings here. And we're really excited about that. But, you know, even though there's a, there's a uh, like a, a t-shirt with it's Detroit versus everybody. It's not Detroit versus everybody, it's Detroit with everybody. We want everybody to feel the spirit and everybody is welcome to come here. So I've been told that if you're in Detroit on a weekend, an absolute must is going to the Eastern Market. So let's check it out. Warda's pastries have influences from her Algerian background and her travels in France and Asia. Her accolades keep adding up, including James Beard Awards and being named Food and Wine's Best New Chef for 2022. When I say you can get any kind of food in Detroit, I mean any kind of food. And one spot that can't be missed is Baobab Fair for East African dishes that you will never forget. 
So my name is uh, Hamisi Mamba, and uh, I'm the co-owner of Baba Fair. Uh, Baba Fair is an East African restaurant uh, created here in Detroit. And uh, we've been in business for two years. Um, the only Burundian restaurant in, in, the, in the United States. In the United States? Yes. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's amazing. Starting for us was um, not really a choice. It was a lack of opportunities. You know, me and my wife, we came here as refugees to live in a shelter called Freedom House, Detroit. And I have my background uh, was uh, business, sales and marketing. My wife's background was, she was a human rights activist, she was an activist. Uh, so we couldn't get a job. And we started and thought, why can't we just create, a, you know, a restaurant? Growing up, my mom owned, you know, a small restaurant. I saw, I grew up seeing my mom cooking, me being in the kitchen. Now that she's an amazing cook. So that is how we started. Detroit isn't short on cool hotels and even cooler restaurants. Case in point, the apparatus room in the Foundation Hotel. Continuing our food tour, we land at Saffron de Trois. Moroccan food is the theme here, but Chef Omar is also known to make the best chicken and fish sandwiches in town. My name is Omar Anani. I'm the chef owner of Saffron de Trois here in Detroit, and uh, we're a modern Moroccan bistro. So I'm a French trained chef, and um, I originally wanted to do the food of my people. And um, if I was to do Palestinian food, it wouldn't be about the food or the culture. It'd be about the politics and the religion and all this other stuff. And so one day I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, wait a minute, Detroit is a French city. Morocco was occupied by the French. So the cool thing about Morocco is that it was the end of Silk Road. And so all these spices and all these Arabs came through Morocco and um, it's a fusion of all these different cooking techniques and foods. And it's hilarious that um, most Moroccan food, if you change one ingredient or you change one technique, it's blasphemous. This is not Moroccan food, right? And it's so cool. Like you'll have Moroccans that come here to eat and they'll take a bite and they'll go, what is this? It's Moroccan. I know Moroccan food. I'm, I'm Moroccan, but this isn't something that I grew up with. What is it? And so it's, it's taking the flavors of Morocco and enhancing them and transforming them into an experience. That's what the restaurant's all about. Every dish in the restaurant has a story behind it. And that's, that's the most important piece of, of when we go out to eat. Highlands Detroit is located on the 71st floor of the Renaissance Center, giving some of the best views, not only of Detroit, but also Canada across the river. It's the perfect spot to start your Detroit cocktail experience. And don't forget to eat at the restaurant too. So my name is uh, Kyle, uh, Kyle Spina. I am the uh, executive chef here at Highlands Detroit. Um, I work underneath our chef owner, uh, George James Beard Award winner, uh, Chef Sean McLean. We are on 71st floor of the Detroit Renaissance Center. So, uh, great view, uh, fantastic, beautiful space we have in the restaurant. But the best thing is that people can come up here for the view, but then they also get to have your incredible food. <laughs> that is so, true, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what's on the menu and what people can expect when they come here? Yeah, so we really try to make sure that the menu is approachable for any guest, anybody. They don't have to feel intimidated or, um, or alienated, I guess, by, by a high-end restaurant. And from the view on the 71st floor all the way to the neighborhoods, there's a non-stop selection of cool bars to visit. Detroit come with history, nooks, crannies, and a whole lot of character. 
The Siren Hotel is no exception with its quirky details, unique rooms, and that great candy bar that we just visited. But it also has an amazing location and views that can't be beat. If there's one thing that Detroit does best, it's being true to its own identity. The people and communities here have a can't knock us down attitude that is so infectious. When you go to Detroit, go hungry for food, thirsty for drinks, with an open mind to any kind of art, and be ready to connect with the locals on a true level. These are all reasons why Detroit should be your next destination. Oh, yeah.